What is up everybody? I'm Ken from Mid-Level Media and we are back today for another Tuesday Blues Day physical media shopping trip and today is an exciting day because we have Tenet releasing on Blu-ray and 4K. We have Tremors releasing on Blu-ray and 4K from Arrow Video. Not sure if we're going to see that in stores today. Uh, we have Alone releasing on Blu-ray. We have the, the Dark and the Wicked releasing on Blu-ray. Uh, let's see. We got some Blue Underground 4K Vigilante releasing on, on 4K. Not sure if we're going to see any of those in stores, but I imagine we'll see a few here and there. Infidel um, on Blu-ray. So uh, I covered all of this stuff yesterday in the Physical Media Report, which you can go check out if you want the full rundown of everything that is coming out this week. But yeah, I am outside of a Best Buy right now. It is packed. There are tons of people in there. I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to get in there, but I'm going to try to get in there and get some. Hopefully they will have an actual copy of Tenet in stores because I do want to pick this up uh, today so I can watch it and check it out for the first time because I haven't seen Tenet yet. I never went and saw it in the theaters when it came out. So I am excited to pick it up and give it a watch. And we're also going to be going to Target today. We're going to be going to Walmart today. And I'm thinking I might make my FYE return today as well. So get excited, guys. Get pumped. It's time to shop for some Blu-rays. Let's do it. Into Best Buy we go. What is this? Uh, Cyberpunk 27.7? I don't know what this shit is. But Best Buy's definitely got that, right? Let's do it. Here we go, guys. Best Buy delivers today with a DVD copy of Tenet, a Blu-ray copy of Tenet, the 4K copy of Tenet, and this Steelbook copy of Tenet. See, they also have these Studio Ghibli releases from Shout Factory. Yeah, they got a lot of stuff today. That's awesome. Let's see, they also have these cool new copies. I don't know if these are like exclusive to Best Buy, but they have Miracle on 34th Street, Nutcracker. Uh, they have a Christmas Carol right here. This, yeah, I don't know if these are exclusive to Best Buy or what these are. Pretty cool though. Guys, the Blu-ray copy of Back to the Future is only $25.99. That's a great deal. You have Alien 6 Film Collection, $54. They do have the Alfred Hitchcock Collection. I know I saw this last week, but that's only $50 here. That's a great deal for that collection for sure. All right, guys, so here we go. We got more copies of Tenant over here. Down here, we got that Smiley Face Killers. We have the Dark and the Wicked. That is new this week. We have Chick Fight. That is new this week. All right. So they got some stuff. The Godfather Coda is over here. That's new. The Expanse Season 4 is new this week. Infidel. Uh, the Opening Act. Not sure about that one. Battle of the Bulge. That's new this week. They do have the IP Man 4K Trilogy here. Awesome. Let's see, Alone, like I said, Alone, that is new this week as well. So Best Buy is delivering today, guys. Best Buy is delivering. And they don't have their own spot, but I am seeing a copy of this Hobbit uh, 4K collection. No Lord of the Rings, just a Hobbit. For all you video game enthusiasts, they do have Cyberpunk with slipcovers for Xbox One and PS4. And they have a, a separate game case for it, a steel book, but I don't think the actual game's in that, so that's weird. All right, guys, let's get out of here. So, guys, that was actually pretty awesome. Best Buy, I, I went to a different one this week. I went back to the one I was going to for a while, and then they got rid of their store shelves and stuff. I guess they maybe needed some time to adjust to the new format that they had in there because they were fully stocked today. Uh, they had plenty of copies of Tenet on 4K. They had plenty of steel books in there. Uh, for Tenant, which was actually pretty surprising. They had past titles, Coming to America 4K, Beverly Hills Cop in 4K. They had a lot of the new releases this week, like Alone um, and Dark and the Wicked. They had tons of those stuff, uh, copies of that stuff in there. Uh, the Hobbit on 4K trilogy. They didn't have Lord of the Rings. They were sold out of that one. But yeah, like I said, guys, I did grab Tenant today on 4K. I went with the slipcover because yeah, I just like slipcovers a little bit better than I do steelbooks nowadays. And steelbooks are more expensive and it just, to me, it's not worth it. Um, but I did grab the slipcover. This is a badass slipcover on this one. I cannot wait uh, to watch this film tonight and maybe possibly do a 4K review of this this week on my channel. So uh, definitely look forward to that. But yeah, it was cool in there, guys. Hopefully we had the same luck at Target and Walmart today. But before we go there, we're going to head to an FYE. Let's do it. Back again to the mall. Man, it's eerily empty in here for the holidays. Thanks, COVID.
right guys, so just got out of the mall and I apologize uh, for my hair. It's a little bit of a mess because I wore a, a beanie in there. It's pretty cold outside. It's like 32 degrees. So um, I went into the FYE in there and I always like going in the FYEs around like the holidays because they always have like some holiday sections and stuff like that. They had a Christmas section that I showed off a little bit. They also had some like uh, exclusive Krampus uh, merchandise in there. Uh, which was kind of cool. They had like a little Krampus, like, uh, I can't remember what it was, like a board game or something. And they had some shirts, they had some uh, chocolate bars with the little trolls and stuff on. I'm not the biggest fan of Krampus, but that stuff was cool. I was also hoping that they would have that Tremors 4K set in there, but they did not because they do have some of the Arrow titles. Uh, they had some cool like Screen Factory editions in there. They had Silent Night, Deadly Night 2 for 30 bucks. I wasn't going to pay that much for that. Uh, but it's Garbage Day. That's the big line from that movie. Um, but what I did pick up was pretty cool, actually. I got a DVD collection, five film collection, uh, Boris Karloff. So some of his classic horror films that aren't Frankenstein Stein or the Mummy. Um, there, there. The, there's a list on the on the back of all these movies. But I thought this was a pretty cool set, and it was only seven dollars. So I was like, when I looked at it, it was a, it was a really nice box set, uh, really cool like design on it. So I went ahead and picked this up for seven bucks because why not? Um, and then on my way out, unfortunately. GameStop pulled me in, and when I went into GameStop, they had another freaking awesome deal on some of their used games, so I bought five games. So if you buy five games at uh, GameStop right now, um, the used games, you get 50% off each one of those games. So I got five PS4 games for only $33, which is pretty freaking awesome. Um, I got Darksiders 3, uh, which I love this franchise. I've talked about it before on this channel on, in my Xbox game collection. I love the first one. And, uh, the second one I played a little bit, but uh, these are really fun games. So I got Darksiders 3. I got Ghost Recon Wildlands, which I haven't really played any of these games before, but I heard this one was like open world and, and kind of cool, so I picked that one up. Um, I also got Knack 2, which I haven't even played Knack 1, but it looked kind of fun. Um, I got uh, The Surge 2, which I have no idea what this is, but it kind of, this was kind of like uh, me trying to find a game that would fulfill uh, my five game limit, and this is the last one I grabbed. Uh, and then I got uh, Dishonored 2, which I played like halfway through the first one, but I haven't beat that one yet. Uh, but yeah, I got Dishonored 2 in my collection. So those were, like I said, five PS4 games for $33. You cannot beat that. So a uh, very successful trip to the FYE, to the GameStop, to the mall. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Target and see what they got. Into Target we go. Will they deliver or will they have empty shelves? Like always. Let's do it. All right, guys, I am seeing the 4K copy of Tenant, Blu-ray copy, DVD. They have Infidel. Oh, Target actually has the Wolf of Snow Hollow, so that's pretty cool. Let's see, Proxima. I don't know if that's new or not. All right. Opening act. I think that's new. I think that's new. Looks like Aquaman's on sale for 10 bucks on Blu-ray. Cats, guys. Cats is only 12. Only 12.99. Get your copy of Cats. All right, looks like we got the Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K here. 90 bucks. That's awesome that they have that. Awesome stuff. Back to the Future trilogy is 42.99. Let's see, over here we do have the Hobbit trilogy as well for 90 bucks, but you can actually buy that right now, I believe, for 70 on Amazon. Let's see. V from Vendetta, they got Total Recall this week. Didn't see that last week, but it's only $14.99. Kicking myself because I spent $17.99 at Walmart last week. Oh well. Cool ET steelbook. I haven't seen that steelbook yet. That's pretty cool. Let's see, guys. Got a Batman Begins steel book. I don't know if that's new or not. Blues Brothers, Breakfast Club. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. Let's get out of here. All right, guys. So it looks like Best Buy and Target has finally uh, pulled their heads out of their asses and uh, started stocking their physical media because we had another successful in-store trip at the Target this week. Saw Tenant on 4K, Saw Tenant on Blu-ray, Saw Tenant on DVD. There was no exclusive Target edition for this release. I, I would have thought there might have been. 
Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool. We got, we saw that Wolf of Snow Hollow movie in here. We didn't see that at Best Buy. So it looks like we got to cover all the bases this week as far as like new physical me uh, media releases. So that's really cool. Um, and yeah, we're, we're on our way to Walmart right now. And uh, hopefully they deliver as well. And we get some cool, obscure uh, Blu-ray DVD titles that nobody's ever heard of uh, before as well. So we'll see you there. We have finally arrived at our local Walmart. All right, Walmart, can we do it? Can we make it three for three today? Please stock your section. All right, guys, so I am seeing the 4K attendant, the Blu-ray, the DVD. Um, is this the same DVD copy of the other stores? It might be a Walmart exclusive. They usually do those. Uh, let's see. They also have the Wolf of Snow Hollow on DVD. Got some of the 4Ks. Can't remember if all these were here last week. I think Beverly Hills Cop was. I don't know about Coming to America, though. The Crudes, I don't think, was here uh, last week either. I know that's new. I think some of these are new. Dune Drifter, Amityville Witches, Beast Mode, Rage of the Mummy, Cage Fighter, One Punch Man. Season 2 of that on DVD. Got a Blu-ray. Christmas Wish. Uh, yeah, let's see. Looks like mostly the same stuff. All right, let's get out of here, guys. All right, guys, so pulling out of the Walmart right now. So I'm not going to say that that was a complete bust um, in the Walmart today. They did have Tenant out, so I was thankful for that. Um, but a lot of their shelves still were empty. Overall, though, I was very satisfied with this week. It was a nice turnaround from last week where it honestly felt like a pretty dark and depressing trip last week. I, I went to a dark place. I got frustrated. Uh, this week was much better as far as the overall, all the stores. Best Buy had all their stuff stocked. Uh, Target had some stuff stocked, so that was cool to see. Uh, but yeah, Walmart, I think they were still in the process of stocking us all the guy over there. So um, overall, this was a great trip, guys. You know, went to FYE today. Uh, got some stuff at GameStop. It, a successful trip overall, I would say. I got tenant on 4K, so my goal was achieved there. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video, this Tuesday Blues Day uh, Blu-ray hunts. I hope that you enjoyed yourself today. Uh, we'll be back next week for some more hunts, but it's going to be a little bit of a light week for the next couple of weeks leading into Christmas into the new year but we'll try to find creative ways to keep the show uh, going and keep it interesting for you guys so uh, definitely appreciate you guys watching if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button like this video comment down below anything cool that you picked up this week did you grab tenant on 4k let me know in the comments below and we'll see you next time